Yo, what's good? It's your boy Lesson Power One, and welcome to another Dragon's Dogma 2 video. Today I'll be showing you guys how to get Worm Life Crystal weapons and armors, and you can even improve your vocations and your vocation skills with Worm Life Crystals at the Dragon Forge. These weapons and armors have some of the best stats in the game and look absolutely amazing. You'll also be able to reset any of your Forge weapons here as well with just one Worm Life Crystal. But don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Let's get into it. First, the Dragon Forge is located northeast of Back Batal. Once you get the real ending by stabbing the dragon with the God's Bane sword, the weapons and the armors will unlock. Everything else unlocks on New Game Plus, so you will have to do another playthrough to improve your vocation and improve your skill. But they will be already unlocked once you make it to the Dragon Forge the first time on New Game Plus. So as you can see, we got a few new things here. I'll be going over them one by one so you can understand what they do. So you can receive blessings from the Dragon Force that lasts one full day in game time. Experiment Boom will let you gain more experience for one full day. With Vocational Flare, you'll gain increased discipline. Unflagged Valor gives you increased stamina recovery speed. And Charming Aura increases people's affinity for you. I mainly use Unflagged Valor that gives you increased stamina recovery speed. Next we got Trade Item. This is where you'll be spending most of your Worm Life Crystals. All your dragon weapons are here, they even have a sword called Dragon's Dogma, and they have weapons and armors for each class. The weapons also come with extra bonuses as well, like continuing to strike an enemy without taking damage and powers the blade. The armors also look awesome, and they also have pretty good stats as well. I'll be doing build videos on each class with their armors and weapons fully unlocked. Next is Enhanced Equipment. This is how you power your last stat on your weapons and your armor. It only costs 5 Worm Life Crystals. Then they even have a reset enhancement as well. So you can reset any weapons that you use. And it only costs 1 Worm Life Crystal which is great. Next is improved vocation. This one is important because it boosts your status increase while leveling up. So it boosts the amount of stat points you get while leveling up. You only can do this once per person at a time. And when you activate a new blessing, you will lose the previous one. So you need to choose wisely. So real quickly, I'm going to activate the Mystic Spear here because this is my favorite class that I like to play with. It only costs 12, 20 Worm Life Crystals. And now that it's activated, that you can see it's activated, with, it'll have a little token on the side. Lastly, we have improved skills. So you only can choose one skill for your main class you want to use. And what this does is basically half the stamina used when using or casting a skill, basically allowing you to use that skill twice as much. So if you have a skill that uses tons of stamina but does major damage, you might want to improve that skill. So the skill I decided to use here is basically Dragon's Foin because I uh, use this skill all the time with the Mystic Spear Hand. But like I said before, if you have a skill that uses tons of stamina but does major damage, I would suggest that skill. Maybe like uh, the Mystic Spear Hand Charge Beam that I used, that actually does a lot of damage but it uses tons of stamina. Next, I'm going to show you guys how to get the true ending so you can get straight to the Dragon's Forge. So what you want to do is face the Dragon the first time and destroy him. Then you'll have a few cutscenes, you'll come to the party with credits, and you'll have to talk to the Pathfinder in the Black Hood. And whatever you do, do not sit on the throne or this will end the game. Once you talk to the Pathfinder for the second time, he'll basically reset you, putting you back on the dragon. But this time your chest will be glowing. Once you're close enough to the dragon's head, go to your item menu and use the Empowered God's Blame Blade. This will activate the best ending triggering a cutscene sending you deep in the sea this is basically in game also this section gives you tons of worm life crystals you can get up to maybe about 600 and literally almost every enemy drops a fairy stone i was able to get about 30 fairy stones in just one run also i want to mention that this mode is on an in game seven day timer so watch how you rest because that can cause your time to fly by and it'll trigger the ending but don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate all you guys for coming through and checking out my guide. Deuces.